I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I've covered everything. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a full body stretching routine, working from our heads to our toes. Okay, so start high up, work our way down. Once we finish that, we're then gonna do a little bit of mat work. Um, so a few more more difficult type PNF type stretching um, at the end just to finish off the class. Breathing's really important, guys. Okay, so Andy often says, breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. I want you guys to focus on every single exercise that we do today, getting the oxygen in and breathing out. Um, and that's going to be a main focus area for today's class. Move this stick chair out of the way. Okay, I'm going to get the music on, guys. And we're going to get going with today's class. As I said, any questions, please feel free to drop them in the chat box. So we're going to start off with the neck. So we're going to look to one side. We're going to come back to neutral. We're going to look to the other side. And back to neutral, adding in breathing. So looking up, breathing in through the nose. And out through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Back to a neutral position for me, guys. And looking down towards the floor. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. You guys get the rhythm. Come back to a neutral position. One hand behind the back. And we're going to look in the opposite direction to feel that stretch in the neck. Okay, putting the hand by behind the neck is going to get you a little bit more of a stretch there as well. Head back to neutral, hand away, change sides, other hand behind the back, look in the opposite direction. As I said, at any point, guys, if you need to today, feel free to take a seat. Head back to neutral, arm away. I'm going to start to bring the shoulders in now. So we're going to roll the shoulders forwards. And now we're going to roll the shoulders, shoulders backwards. Shoulders? Good stuff, guys. Feel free to take on water on board at any point during today's class as well. We're now going to bring our arms up to the sides. We're going to rotate our palms and we're going to come above the head. I'll show you that kneeling so you can see. The full movement okay so raising to our sides coming up to the top and back down hello kathy good to see you nice to see so many participants today with their cameras on as well next one we're going to do is we're going to raise up and then once we reach the top portion, we're going to push up to the ceiling and then come back down. So raising up, push to the ceiling, back down. Keeping our core nice and tight. Keeping that breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now I'm going to bring one arm across the body, pull it towards us, stretch out that tricep in the back of the arm. And we're going to change sides. We're going to go one arm above the head, push down on the elbow. And we're going to change arms. So 
swinging the arms across the body. Actively, when you swing back, I want you to try and pull your shoulder blades back together. Can you see that? So I'm pulling my shoulder blades together as I come back, allowing my arms to stretch all the way forwards. We're now going to put the arms around the body, try and hug ourselves. Bit of an interesting looking one, this one. It's all good. It's just us. <laughs> And then we're going to come hands on the hips try and push our elbows together to open up the chest. Again, we're going to try and hug ourselves to get all the way around. And we're going to go hands on the hips, try and bring those elbows together. Let's start to bring a little bit of the core from the lower back in now, guys. So don't worry about the hamstring stretch on this one. All I want you to do is allow your lower back to round over as much as you can. You wouldn't do this when you have a weight in your hands. We're just using it for stretching purposes today. We're going to come up, we're going to put our hands on our hip, and we're going to reach back, extend at the lower back, and really feel that stretch. Again, we're going to come down, allow that lower back to round forward as much as we can. Then we're going to come up, hands on the hips, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, leaning back as much as we can. Keeping those hands on the hips, we're going to do small circles going one way, try and open them out a little bit. And we're going to change directions. This one, you have two options. You can either have hands to your sides or one hand above the head. But what we're going to do, reach down to one side. Again, as I said, you can have your hands to your sides. Having the hand above the head makes this a little bit more of a strenuous stretch. I think, guys, you can also do this seated. Make sure you ha have a stable chair, though, if you're going to do it seated. Back to a neutral position. Change sides. And one more time. Go to the other side. And change sides. One more quick one for the shoulders. Have our arms there in front of the body. We're going to stay in a straight position. What I want you guys to do is pull back through your shoulder blades and then push forwards through the shoulders. Okay, so arms are staying straight, pulling back through the shoulder blades. And then pushing forwards. Okay, so we're retracting and then we're protracting as we push away from us. Uh, 
Okay, that's the finish of upper body and core. So if you want to grab yourselves a quick drink for me, guys, we're going to go into some gentle lower body stretching next. As I said, grab yourselves a drink of water. Still in this next phase, we're going to be thinking about breathing. Um, we're still in a standing position for now. So most of you would have done this stretch that we're going to do now. Uh, just going to see the other participants as well. Hi, B. Good to see you. Ruth, Tim. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so we're going to stand on one leg. We're going to grab the other foot, put it towards the bum, knee pointing towards the ground, hips in a neutral position. Have a wall around you if you're like me and you're terrible with your balance. I'm just going to hold this position. 10 seconds. We're then, I'll tell you as we go along, but now I want you to allow your knee to come a bit further back, pull a little bit more through your foot, feel that stretch a little bit more in the hip and that leg. Allow that foot to come down. We're going to change sides. <coughs> Baljit, hello, good to see you. Sam, hello. So many participants today, I need to scroll across to see them all. <laughs> good stuff. Now we're now going to allow that knee to come back, pull a bit further, feel that stretch in the hip. Okay, allow that leg to come down. One leg out in front of us. Okay, we're going to reach in towards the toe while keeping that leg nice and straight. This is a hamstring stretch. Take a note of where you're stretching to at the moment because we're going to come up and then we're going to take the stretch a little bit further. What we call PNF stretching. Okay, we're going to come back to standing. We're going to come back down on that same leg. And this time, try and take the stretch a little bit further if we can. You always find if you do one stretch and then go into another one, it'll be a lot easier to stretch than going straight into one cold. Keep the leg nice and straight though. We're going to come up. We're going to change sides exactly the same thing. So reaching in towards the toe leg, nice and straight. We're going to come up. Then we're going to try and take it down a little bit further. Hold that stretch. Good stuff, Tim. Well done. Enjoying the nice weather I see. Good. Hello, Kathy. And stop that one there, guys. Next one we're going to do is standing on one leg. Abductor work, okay? Ab abduction is where we take a limb away from the midline of the body, okay? Because we're abducting it, we're taking away. So what we're going to do is come up and then back down. Come up back down. If you struggle with balance, again, the wall would be great. Okay. We're just going to do five of these on each leg. Feel free to do more if you started early. Once you've done one leg, if we go to the other leg, pretty similar to the previous. The next one we're going to do is a high kick, okay? Keeping with the football theme after it ending sadly last week, we're going to kick up nice and high and then allow it to come all the way back. Kick up nice and high, allow it to come all the way back. Okay, 
Again, we're doing five of these on each leg. Once you've done your five, if you stop for me, that I know you. So I know that you've done. Next one is a lunge type of stretch. Just going to move so I can see what everyone's doing. Okay, so you're going to have one leg forward, one leg back, and you're on the toe of the back leg. All you're going to do is lean in, okay, and try and push that back knee towards the ground. Feel that stretch in the groin. If you don't feel it, take the legs a bit wider apart. You want to allow that front knee to come forwards back leg staying pretty straight on this one. We're going to come up and again we're going to take it a little bit further now. So exactly the same leg. See if you can take it a little bit further down when you're ready. We're going to come back. We're going to change sides. Other leg forward, other leg back. We're going to lean in. So keep that back leg nice and straight. You'll feel that more in the groin and the hip area. Let's try and force that knee down towards the ground. We're going to come up. And again, we're going to take it down when you're ready, a little bit further. So guys, if any of you got any questions today, please feel free to drop in the chat box. Do my best to get back to you. Push back up to standing. Next one, we're going to take our legs nice and wide. We're going to lunge into one leg. One leg straight, other knee bent. Come back to neutral, changing sides. Keeping that breathing going as well. And we're going to change sides again. Back to neutral. One more time. Going to come up to the top. Hold this position. Now I want you very gently to reach down as far as you feel comfortable on this one, guys. Towards the ground. Okay, if it's easy, take your legs a little bit wider. I guarantee you'll feel that stretch. Okay, we're going to bring the legs together now. Final standing stretch we're going to do. Legs nice and straight. Reach down as far as we feel comfortable towards the toes. We're going to hold that position again, stretching the hamstrings on this one. We're going to come up. Hands on the hips, reach back. We're going to come down, stretch the hamstrings, try and take a little bit further this time. Feel free to try and get your body a bit closer to your legs, reach down further towards your toes. We're going to bend the legs come down onto the ground. If you need some water, feel free to take a quick drink because we're now going to go into the floor exercises. As I said, guys, these ones are going to be a little bit more challenging. Um, if you do struggle, feel free to use a regression of your choice. I will give you a slightly easier option as well. Um, or feel free to do an alternative exercise that we've already done in today's class as well. So, 
first one we're going to do is a yoga type move it's an upward facing dog okay so we're going to have our hands on the ground we're going to push our lower back in feel that stretch as we come down in the lower back What I want you guys to do to make it a little bit different is we're going to look over one shoulder and then we're going to look over the other shoulder. When you look, I don't want you to just move your head. Okay. I want you to rotate at your core as you're looking over each side. We're going to push back and down, feel that stretch in the shoulders. Try and get the elbows down towards the ground for me now, guys, and downward facing dog. Keep that breathing going, so in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're gonna come back through again, lower back towards the ground, looking over each shoulder. To a neutral position for me now, guys. I'm gonna push back, stretch the shoulders as we come down. Good stuff, Tim. Well done. What I can see, Ruth, Sam, exactly the same. Well done. We're gonna come up into a kneeling position. Okay, so our next stretch, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. It's a little bit more advanced. It's for the glutes, okay? I'm gonna give you two options. Option number one is on the ground. Bring one leg across the body, okay? Sit back into it. I'll show you from the front. A lot of you might have done it before. It's quite a popular exercise. I know Andy's definitely done it quite a few times before. You should have one leg across the body. You can see that, okay? Sit back, feel that stretch. So it's one leg out in front and across the body. Other leg goes back. Try and sit down into that stretch. Second option, guys, for you is standing. Foot on the opposing knee. Apply pressure on the inside of the leg. So if you struggle with the kneeling one, you've got that as an option as well. I know most of you are already in the stretch, which is fantastic. Okay, so we're going to hold it for another 10 seconds. We're then going to come out, have a little relax, and then we're going to go back into it again and try and take it a little bit further. Come up onto your foot, have a little relax. Keep the same position, guys. We're going to come back into it again and take it a little bit further for another 15 seconds. So let's come back into it, feel that stretch, try and take that a little bit further. come up we're going to change sides so we're going to have the other leg across the body sit down into it really feel that stretch 15 seconds Come up onto the foot, have a little relax. And we're going to go back down a little bit further this time for another 15 seconds. Really feel that stretch now, guys. Okay, knees back for me. Next one, we're going to have one leg forward in a lunge position, one leg back. We're going to allow our body to move in and forward, keeping that position, feeling that stretch in our hips. 
We're going to do 15 seconds. We're then going to come back and we're going to go for another 15 seconds, taking it a little bit further. If you want to feel more of a stretch, you can also cross your body over that front leg. And I'll open up the hips a little bit more as well. We're going to come back and we're going to come back down into it. Feel that stretch. We're going to come back and we're going to change sides. Other leg forward, other leg back. Gonna lean in, feel that stretch in the hips. 15 seconds. Good stuff, Sam. Well done. Remember, guys, you've also got the option of bringing your body across that front leg. Make things a little bit harder as well. We're going to come back. Going to come in again. Just take it a little bit further. Five seconds to go. We're going to take a seat now. You're sitting on your backside. You look at me. Feet are together. Okay, we're going to pull our feet that are together in towards us as far as we feel comfortable. We're then going to gently apply pressure with our elbows to the inside of the legs feeling that stretch in our groin. Again, we're going to do 15 seconds and then take it a little bit further, 15 seconds. Come up, give it a little rest. And then come back down. Try and push it a little bit further. Keep the core nice and tight on this one. Don't let your lower back round. So now allow ourselves to roll onto our backs. So just rolling forwards and backwards very gently. Just roll that lower back out. Okay, we're going to have feet down, hands down to our sides. Naturally, guys, when you lay down, you'll find you have an arch under your lower back. I want you guys to focus on core engagement. So if you put your hands underneath your lower back, you should feel naturally there's a gap okay, created by that natural arch. What I want you to do is squeeze your tummy muscles as hard as you can, which will close that arch. Okay. Then let the arch open again. Then squeeze the tummy muscles. Close that arch again. Okay. I'm just going to do this 10 times. So find that arch under your lower back. Squeeze your tummy. Close the arch. Allow it to come back again. When you do any sort of core work, guys, really important to focus on doing this so that you engage your core and not your hip flexors. So you can do sit-ups, crunches, without actually engaging your core properly. Doing this before you start the movement is a fantastic way to ensure that you're engaging your core when you're doing them. Nice way to win the class laying down, eh? done your 10 if you just lay with your arms to your sides so I know that you're all done moving in through the nose and out through the mouth final exercise we're going to do today guys is a glute bridge okay that what that involves is squeezing your bum as hard as you can pushing through your heels 
allowing it to lift off the ground and then bringing it back down. We're going to do a set of 10 of these as well. When you finish, if you grab yourselves a drink of the water, give yourselves a pat on the back. Well done, you've completed today's class. Thank you. Well done, everybody, as well. You've all done that fantastically well. Good to see so many different faces as well. Now I've seen Liz, who I see most weeks. Really good to see you. Azimati B, Baljit, Tim, Ruth, Sam. Great to see you all with your cameras on, Cathy. As I said, guys, feel free to hang around at the end if you've got any questions at all. Um, Andy should be back next week, providing that he's all feeling better. Um, and, but just thank you all so much for coming. I hope you've enjoyed today's class. Please go and subscribe to our YouTube channel and go and check out all of our other classes. Have a lovely day, guys, and I'll see you all soon.